start? What do we say? I don't know. I don't really far away. Don't. <laughs> stop. Shut it. Okay. Bon dia from Lisbon. 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 <laughs> so we just finished our first two weeks in a new country and then we'll be doing another two weeks in a different country and a different city from now on. Mm -hmm. We've done lots of things, seen lots of things, we've been working from home the whole time, which isn't that like, new for me, but it's very new for it's you. It's new for me. And you can do very well. Hope so. Yes. Well, they seem to be. So, <laughs> what's your favourite part in your favourite experience? My favourite experience has probably been making the custard tarts that we made. Ah, uh, yeah. Custard tarts are good. Yeah, yeah, we had made them all with some chefs telling us what to do. It was tasty. It was really good. It was really good. I think we were there for two hours. It was a cooking school called the Compadre Cooking School in Lisbon. And it was well, a group of what, 10 people? And you each had your own little workstation and you were able to do your own, make your own custard tarts. And then we also made cod fritters as well which was a really nice addition to it and it was all quite simple actually. It wasn't too Frozen. complicated to make. The results were really tasty and then we were able to take them home and then we had them for the next two days for lunch. Yeah. Got like, I don't know, they were really good on the first day and then as the days went on, a little bit yeah, chewier, yeah. a little bit softer, so pasta donadas eat them on the first day because yeah. that's when they're the best and preferably hot as well. I like debatable. It. Oh. Debatable. No, that's <laughs> debatable. Ask, ask anyone from Portugal mm. and see what they say. Mm -hmm. yeah. What was uh, your favourite part? I quite liked Sintra. Our day trip to Sintra. So we get up and we drive it's like 40 minutes and then you just see like a massive mountain covered in cloud and you start heading into the forest. Mm. It's so misty. You can see maybe like 100 yards in front and wander up through and some tall guys telling you the story of this palace and the grounds that it's in, this whole basically top of the mountain that he transformed into his own garden almost, where you can take any path and you'll always find a different place. And then you come out of this clearing and you've just got this really colourful, beautiful castle. It's, it's completely a different building. It's completely different to anything that's around it. I was trying to see if I could tell on the iPhone. No, I don't no, see it on the iPhone. Don't want me. The rest of mostly walking. A lot of walking. A lot of walking around and just saying, I mean, that's just how I like to do things. It's yeah, and I think that's the point around. of this trip as well. Is this trip isn't a supposed to be? It's not supposed to be a holiday. We are working at the same time, yeah. so it's supposed to be more just experiencing life and just being a bit more relaxed. You know. Just trying to fit in things when we can, and if we can't, then it's not a big deal. We're here for two weeks, we're in each place for two weeks, so it's, you know, you, you generally have enough time to fit it in without rushing around. But anyone we've spoken to, we told them we were here for two weeks, and they were like, oh, well, you're going to see a lot. <laughs> and it was like, well, yeah, but we're spreading it out, we're not doing something every day. You know, there are days that we don't really leave the vicinity of our apartment, you know, we will work from, say, nine to five, and then we go out, get something for dinner, and cook yeah. it and then go to bed and it's, it's just what you would really do at home yeah. so well, just in another city yeah well, so how are you finding it well i've been working from home i've done for almost two years now i work because i can actually concentrate because i get distracted very easily. so being able to work from home you think would be a problem with that but for me uh, i don't know it just seems to work similar stuff how's it been for you because it was brand new for you i think the first week it was really difficult to get the hang of. But I did do it when we were in New York. But then I only had one client. Yeah. And now I have three. And I try and work a similar time to you. I think so far I was just trying to get into the 
hang up things and working it out, but obviously it will shake up every time we move to another place. You have to find a new supermarket, you have to find, you know, your bearings and, and work way around. But I think by probably halfway through the first week, you kind of get the hang of it and you see things. So, mm. yeah, that's good. Well. It's been a great trip. It's been a great two weeks so far, mm. yeah. But now I have to say goodbye. Mm -hmm. see you later. And we will be catching up on the It's going to be weird, we're going to think we're going home. Mm. It's like, nope. nope. Move along. Next place. <laughs> We will catch up in Seville. Until Seville. Bye. Bye. <laughs>